Welcome to Cruise Master by Vehicle Components Camper Trailer of the Year. We've brought 25 of Australia's best camper trailers to a beautiful section of northern New South Wales rainforest and recruited the country's most experienced judges to run their eyes over them. Let's see how it goes. The Quest Rubicon QT Hybrid is on the road for $49,990. It features a fully shrouded chassis, is small and compact obviously, but that makes it extremely lightweight. The Rubicon QT's checker plate underbody makes it very durable off-road. Also has Alco Enduro suspension, the slide out barbecue area. The top panel is composite material. But when you're living in the outdoors, you need three things, power, water, and somewhere to sleep. For your power, there's a 150 watt solar panel on the roof. There's a 120 litre water tank underneath at the back and this magnificent inner spring queen size bed to sleep on. But let's go over to the judges and hear what they've got to say. The Quest Rubicon QT was another hybrid camper with a very attractive price point. Bear, what did you think of this one? You know what, I actually loved it. I, I did the test originally. I took it up to uh, the Goulburn River, which is just near the Rubicon. And I actually really like the facility. I know it's simple, but I'm a simple bloke. And just the sheer ease of this to park it, wind down the legs, pop the roof and wind out the awning. That sheer simplicity for me is priceless. It's got a very like kind of high end feel on the inside. It's really comfy and it is the kind of place that you feel like you could kind of snuggle down if it was a bit cool outside. But also, you know, enough ventilation if it's warmer as well. It's good for all climates really, isn't it? Mate, it's an absolute beefcake underneath. It's, um, it's very unassuming yes. uh, up top. Uh, you know, you, you sort of look at it and think it's just a small caravan. It's a little caravan, yeah. Yeah, well, but getting yeah. underneath, it's pretty, pretty fair it's income It's a wolf in sheep's clothing, <laughs> isn't it? And it's pretty Absolutely. lightweight. They're like just over 1,300 kilos. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I think it's yeah, definitely a true off-roader. Everything is completely shrouded by checker plate. I mean, completely shrouded. The suspension isn't generic off the shelf. It's actually all Alco stuff, their Enduro range. And the Alco stuff sort of pretty well goes right through too, doesn't it? You have got the gas stove inside as well as the sink. I actually don't mind having that little gas cooker inside because it means you can boil the kettle and then get back into bed on a cold morning. If you are in a 240 volt type scenario, you've got the microwave. And the little Barbie's good outside as well if you want to, you know, sit down under the awning and have a bit of a cook up out there. Yeah. Do you feel like being outside? And it's a hooded Barbie, so you can do a roast as yeah. well. Lots of cupboard space too around about eye level. And when the roof popped up, you got a really handy shelf all the way around there that you can put things on. I like the access to the batteries outside, 200 amp hour batteries and they're on a nice little slide that you can pull out and you can get it. And I called it the Holy Grail, I think we called the story the Holy Grail and for me the, the QT suits me down to the ground. Yeah.